Okay, so let's look at the back. For example, the distance a truck travels varies directly. So when it starts telling you this varies directly, whatever they give you first, so like the distance they gave us first, they said the distance varies directly with the number of hours. They're telling you what goes on top. That's what they gave you first. The distance varies directly with hours. Okay, so they're telling you how to set up your ratio. So distance over hours. Distance varies directly with hours. So this is going on top. So a truck travels 290 miles in five hours. If the truck continues to travel at the same rate, how long will it take the truck to travel 812 miles? So miles over hours, or I guess I kind of already had that. So the first ratio let's set up with what we know. So I know I can go 290 miles in five hours. And so then what do I not know? How can I set up that second ratio? Good, how long it's gonna take? How long, so that's my hours, that's what I don't know. How long will it take to go 812 miles? And to solve, same thing. We're gonna cross multiply and divide. 4,600? 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, no, 4,060. Ah. Oh, 4,060. Okay, and then we got to divide that by 290. And we get 14. So 14 miles, or no, 14 hours, sorry, to go 812 miles. Couple more examples down here at the bottom. The amount of Jake's paycheck is directly proportional. So again, the amount of the paycheck, so the cost, the money, is directly proportional to the hours he works. So it's telling you how to set these up. After working for 23 hours, so I'm gonna fill that part in, his paycheck was $180.55. Determine the number of hours so that's what we don't know. Jake needs to work to receive a paycheck of 290 and 45 cents. So we want to see how long it's going to take him to work to get a paycheck of 290.45. So same thing. We're going to cross, multiply, and divide. Thirty-seven. Yep. So thirty-seven hours to make two hundred ninety dollars. Okay. First example: a car traveled seven hundred ninety-two miles and used nine gallons of gas. If the same car traveled at one thousand fifty-six miles at the same rate, how many gallons of gas would be used? So we're comparing what? Miles to gallons. So my first ratio, I'm going to fill in with what I know, 792 miles for 9 gallons. So I want to see how many gallons it takes to go 1,056 miles. Okay, so the next, ex next example, the distance a truck travels, so the distance varies directly. Remember, anytime you see varies directly, it's telling you how to set up that ratio with the number of hours driven. So distance varies directly with hours. The first part of our ratio, it's driven at a constant rate. A truck travels 624 miles in eight hours. So that's how I'm setting up that first ratio with what they give me what I know. If the truck continues to travel at the same rate, how long, so the hours, the time is what I don't know, will it take to travel 858 miles? So cross multiply 
858 times 8. Divided by 624. So 11 hours to travel 858 miles. The amount of Mike's paycheck is directly proportional. So the money is directly proportional to the amount of hours he worked. After working 19 hours, his paycheck was 175.75. Determine the number of hours Mike needs to work to receive a paycheck of 323.75. So we want to cross multiply and divide. 